I'm going to share my experience with using of exit fiber specifically about the capacity of transfer the fluid and exudation. I'm going to share some of my clinical cases where you can see some different wounds. Specifically here you go, you see a cavity 4 pressure ulcer around the trochanter and you see the secondary dressing is completely full and saturated of exudation because the primary dressing that I used exo fiber has the capacity to absorb deeper in the tissues in the cavity and absorbing retention capacities and also has the capacity to transfer to the secondary dressing allow us to control the large amount of exudation here you can see the removal of the dressing in one piece and inside of the cavity you don't see any kind of exudation this allows you to control the large amount of exudation even when the dressing is completely saturated he has the capacity to transfer that exudation from the tip of the wound to the secondary dressing of course it, has, it needs to be flexible it needs to adapt to the cavity because otherwise Otherwise, it will be difficult to uh, apply on a cavity wound. So it's important to look to a cavity as one of the most difficult wounds to treat. You see the wall, sometimes you have tunneling, undermining, wherever. You need to fulfill all the space. That's why sometimes I use ribos to use and adapt to the, to the cavity and also the entire dressing. What I want to do is to fulfill all the cavity to make sure that the dressing is able to absorb from the deep to the top and pass or transfer it to the secondary dressing. As you can see here, this cavity is fulfilled with uh, exofiber and then you see how we transfer the exudation to the flex here. So it helps you to decide when you need to remove and you, make, you may be confident that using the exofiber will transfer from the deep of the wound until the external dressing. Sometimes with other materials there are some issues that you need to control. For example, in this case that you see a cavity, you use the hydrofiber on the cavity. The problem was the dressing is good absorbing and retention, but doesn't have the capacity to transfer. So when we look deep to the wound bed and we know that in some cavities it's really difficult to observe the, the wound surface or to evaluate that cavity, what we found is we found a lot or large amounts of exudation. So the problem was there was like a plug effect. So the dressing was not able to transfer from inside to outside and what happened there's a huge amount of exudation deeper in the cavity that increases the risk. In this example you see also with different materials uh, and a pressure ulcer in the elbow and you see this prolonged exudation that it's really difficult to control so they use exactly the the dressing and hydrofiber inside of the the cavity but the, the hydrofiber was not able to pull out the, uh, the fluid from outside of the dressing. And you can see here, even the, the looking closely to the dressing, you see that it's dried. So it was not able to manage the, the, the absorption capacity and to transfer it. So that's why it's dry, the part who was outside of the cavity. The other example of transfer fluid you see in a huge cavity and orthocanter. You see that when we apply the exofiber inside of the cavity, it needs to absorb, retain, but also transfer to the secondary dressing. And here you can see quite well when you use the entire dressing in the cavity and on the top and then the secondary dressing and it helps the clinician to decide when it needs to change for example in these situations we change from two days for day for four days of dressing exchange and you can see quite well even four days later you see that the exofiber was has a huge capacity of transferred all the fluids that was inside of the of the cavity and transfer it to the secondary dressing that makes easier to the clinician to decide when he needs to change but one thing we need to remember when you evaluate the, 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 um, the dressing in the end you see that you may need to take to another day the dressing change because exofiber allows you to absorb retain and transfer to the secondary dressing and there you can make the perfect decision of dressing change times that's been a great experience for me and for my team when we started to use the exofiber. That's why I will continue to use because I have a product that, or a technology that uh, helps me to control the amount of exudation, helps me to transfer the fluids in a cavity to a second, uh, secondary dressing, simultaneously gives me the moist environment that I need to promote autolytic debridement and in the end if I use the um, AG technology, I have the capacity to, to simultaneously deliver 
silver ions in the wound bed and try to promote or protect against the biofilm formation in the window of opportunity. Thank you very much for your time.